in kaupapa Māori research teams, the ethical issues are much broader than whether people give consent to answer a particular set of questions or give consent to have their photo taken. For example, when you get formal institutional ethics approval for your research, it covers your questionnaire or your interviews, etc. But if you're a Māori researcher, pretty much everything you do as a researcher, from the time you enter the home or the community or the group, not just the question part, everything from the time you enter till forever is an ethical site. Um, you have to treat it with respect. Uh, simple things like confidentiality. Right? So the formal ethical approval covers confidentiality around questions that you ask from your interview schedule or questionnaire. What you observe before, during and after that's not related to the questionnaire, you could actually go and discuss with others technically. You could go and say, well, you know, I visited this Māori home and they had a big dog outside barking and, you know, it looked disorganised. You can actually make those comments because they're not covered by formal institutional ethical things. And those are moral judgments that are often made. I think if you're a Māori researcher, you know, or you ought to know, that the confidentiality part you, you keep the consent that people give you encompasses much more than the formal questions that you're going to ask. So you do have to think about ethics. Uh, in the end, ethics are really about relationships, about the nature of relationships. And that's why I think it's quite easy to put a kaupapa Māori approach to ethics.